Hi guys, it's Olivia Smoliga. It's about time we got to know each other. And what better way to do it than in a hot tub on a beautiful rooftop in Washington, D.C. Let's go. My favorite thing to do in my free time is either nap or cook. I'm a huge bum outside of the swimming world. So probably Netflix and chill. Go-to pump-up song, King of Everything by Wiz Khalifa. Love it. Win Again by Nicki Minaj. Those are some good go-tos. Anything from Beyonce, I'll listen to. So, my favorite toy as a kid. My grandma bought me a pogo stick. Uh, I was a pogo stick champion of, of my neighborhood. I got a gnarly scar, actually, on one of my elbows. I ate it. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, I know, right? Sick. <laughs> Biggest pet peeve, complainers. I really can't stand them. I know I sometimes complain a little bit, but those chronic guys who are just always down in the dumps. I know you can't be positive all the time, but just fake it till you make it, you know? Ooh, do I love winning or hate losing? You know what, I feel like with losing, you get to learn something from it. Um, so there's always a learning experience if you lose or if you um, do something wrong in practice or to me, there's something, always something to improve on. Um, but everybody loves winning, so yeah, I like to win. Favorite TV show? I love New Girl. New Girl on Fox, my favorite show. I've just recently started to get into Power on Stars. A uh, very intense show, so I could binge watch that all day. If I could vacation anywhere, I would probably go to Hawaii. I love the beach. Everyone's so laid back there. So definitely, if I ever get a chance to go out, that's where I would go. If I had a superpower, I probably would choose to fly. If I wasn't swimming, I would probably stay in the athlete world. I played volleyball for a bit in middle school, so maybe go down that route. Favorite sport to watch outside of swimming? Uh, probably hockey. My brother, Matt, plays hockey, uh, so I'm a huge Chicago Blackhawks fan as well. Um, probably, probably hockey. Pre-meat meal. Typically, I'll have some oatmeal, put some almond butter in there, flaxseed, chia seed, cut up a banana. Um, if I'm doing overnight oats, which I really love, I'll put some cocoa powder in there. Um, but that always keeps me fueled through our prelim session. Best meal I've ever made myself. Wow. Um, I make a really good sweet potato hash. Um, so I'll cut up some sweet potato, green pepper, red pepper, uh, onion, throw in some kielbasa to all my Polish people out there. Fry it up in a skillet um, with some spices. A fried egg on top and ketchup, of course, to make it classy. <laughs> if I'm stranded on an island, I would bring chocolate. It's my favorite food. Um, Wa is water readily available for me on this island, or do I, does it have to count as an article? <laughs> article. All right, so chocolate, water, and oatmeal, honestly. You do so much with oatmeal, savory, sweet. Um, if I'm cooking for the Olympic team the day before, because the chef, because we have a chef, I guess, <laughs> for the Olympic team, I would maybe make breakfast. I know that sounds weird, but I love breakfast for dinner, or like a nice brunch. We make some eggs, Benny, uh, some pancakes, bacon, eggs, that potato casserole I was talking about earlier. Um, so many options, but breakfast for dinner is a major go-to for me. Some waffles, of course. Least favorite subject in school, math. I'm terrible at it. I don't like it. Funniest person on Team USA, I would have to go with Leah Smith. She cracks me up all the time on the girl's side. On the guy's side, I would probably give it to Caleb. Caleb Dressel is a pretty funny dude. If I were an animal in the Olympics, the event that I would like to participate in would maybe be track. So maybe like a cheetah or something, really, really fast. First thing I do when I wake up uh, is make my bed, make my bed every day, uh, just to start the day off fresh. Last thing I do before going to bed, um, probably watch a TV show and, and fall asleep to it. Uh, brush my teeth, um, nothing too special over here. Another reason why I'm not very interesting or creative. Here we go. Thank you guys so much for getting to know me better, for listening to me, following me. Smogs out. See you later. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Peace out.